Hello and welcome to my review of the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines Lexicanum Varus Terminator Librarian. I think I mentioned in my unboxing of him and Tariana that uh, you can only get them both together for £45. That was a slight error. It's been many months, a lot's happened, I've slept since then, <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that uh, you were able to buy these, you were able to purchase these models individually for £22.50 each. So therefore you could have uh, bought this model for the uh, £22.50. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I just purchased him because he's a new Space Marine and he's a new 28mm Legacy Space Marine. And I want to support that. I like exclusive things. I like exclusive models. I've always tried my best to get hold of any of the store exclusive models and the Forge World exclusive ones. So this is no different. I much prefer the uh, Adeptus Sororitas Tariana uh, model. I'll, I'll bring her into the screen in a moment. Uh, so you get the uh, the little box. Um, doesn't have the tray inside. It's, it's got a nice useful paint guide there if you wanted to paint him in the typical Ultramarines uh, colour. The model itself, it's, it's quite an odd model. Uh, people have kind of said that his uh, shoulders are pretty much um, head level and I would agree with that. Uh, his, his shoulders should be a bit lower. However, if you look at every other single Terminator, you'll find that's exactly the same. The shoulders are the same height as the head. So um, not much has changed there. If you were to take a step back and look at the other models, the other Terminator models, um, it's usually the case for most of them. Uh, I'll do some size comparisons with uh, a couple of Terminators in a moment. Uh, but yeah, you get the box and you get this little um, booklet, which is the instruction guide. Oh, you don't get Tariana in there though. Uh, you get the uh, instruction guide here, the same paint guide, I think. A better paint guide, actually, a more in-depth one. It's a bit strange. Uh, and then you get just the data sheet for the for a normal librarian in Terminator armor. Although he's got a name, Varus, he's not a kind of named character uh, per se. Um, so if you're going to get him or you're going to get Tariana, don't be too disappointed that they don't have uh, you know named character specific rules, like they don't have a um, named melee weapon or named range weapon. Um, just try not to get too upset about that. And um, they are just standard. Uh, choices uh, in an army. We'll be going through uh, the Librarian and Terminator armor uh, rules towards the end of the video. So let's have a look at the, the model himself and uh, look at all that uh, detail and things. So here he is. Um, he's got a fair amount of detail, but yeah, as we've already seen, his head is uh, the same sort of height as the, the shoulders, same kind of level. Um, it looks a bit sunken. Um, but overall, I'm impressed with the level of detail. Uh, you know, you've got this big shield thing. You've got some scrolls. You've got some keys. The 3D detailing is all right. It's not the best, I don't think. Um, there's not too many different um, levels in terms of uh, depth on the model. But uh, one thing I do like is the, the base with the uh, skull in this kind of sewage goop. I've got a sudden urge to paint it um, Tesseract Glow. Oh, and my Tesseract Glow has been sat there for so long it's turned yellow. <laughs> Just wanted to show you that. Um, oh well, I need to uh, send some Russians an email to get some uh, more stock of that. Anyway, so yeah, the uh, the Force Staff is pretty nice. Um, the, you know, he's got a Storm Bolter. Uh, the pose is strange, uh, you know, typically you you have the, the psychers with their hands to their foreheads or you have them, you know, reaching out uh, with bolts of lightning or, you know, I say pointing with their long staff. This guy's not really doing any of that. He's just like about to break out into song, I guess. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. Uh, typical kind of Terminator. Uh, librarian. I, I do have a metal Librarian Terminator somewhere. Um, it's a shame that I couldn't fish him out of my collection. Um, so what you're going to have today, unfortunately or fortunately, is just a selection of uh, Primaris Psychers, of which I've got this one here, which came in the Shadow Spear box set, I want to say. Put, put it in the comments if I'm completely wrong. Uh, but yeah, you've got this Primaris kind of scout librarian. He's got this Four Sword, I think it is. Um, he's got a book, which is, yeah, 
librarians, they shouldn't really leave home without a book. And this Terminator one doesn't, so poor show. Uh, <laughs> and um, he's got some keys though, which is cool. And he's got a bolt pistol, I guess. Uh, and he's got a funky helmet. Uh, he's got the Phobos armor. Um, really nice looking Psyker. Uh, I don't know, I don't think you can take the helmet off there so but looking size wise if you can see that the primaris is only a little bit taller um so having them on the same battlefield as one another uh it would work you know uh, i think the terminator is helped with the sort of scenic base but then again you look at the primaris librarian and he's also got a bit of a scenic base so hmm odd isn't it that they're kind of similar kind of height uh but uh yeah we'll we'll do some like old legacy um size comparisons in a moment. Then we've got the other Primaris Librarian, and this was the separate uh, Primaris Librarian uh, that uh, Games Workshop brought out. He's got the book, you can't see much of the book, but he's also got keys, and he's got the Force Sword too, and I didn't really, I sort of started painting him and then forgot. <laughs> so don't, don't judge me on that, uh, please. Uh, so yeah, they're the two Primaris Librarians. I think I've got another one without a helmet. Uh, from the Warhammer 40k Conquest uh, series. So I've got three Primaris Librarians now and one in Terminator armor. I think I've got another one in Terminator armor somewhere and maybe one in just normal power armor. Uh, so I'm building up my uh, Librarian force for the chapter. Uh, there are a few Librarians in, in a chapter, but, uh, but there you go. That gives you an idea of how they compare to Primaris at the moment. Uh, just a quick comparison with um, Tariana, which is the other model that was released with him. Uh, she is uh, a lot shorter, um, not that, as you can see, she is a little bit shorter, uh, but um, I think she's a more impressive model and she's a more impressive sculpt, both the detail and how she was to put together, actually. Uh, I prefer her. If you were going to get one of these um, and you got and you only got Tariana, then count yourself lucky uh, because that is the better model, in my humble opinion. Uh, but that's how she stacks up next to a Terminator Librarian. Just gives you an idea of just how bulky these Terminators are. And then another little comparison with uh, just a normal Terminator, one with a Cyclone Missile Launcher. So uh, he is a little bit taller, but then again, I think that's the pose more than anything. Uh, but he's going to look right at home in amongst normal Terminators uh, if you've got them. And finally, the last size comparison I always like to make is just with the, the good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, so I've got a Legacy Space Marine here. Uh, we've got a Primaris on the right and then a, a little Slime Marbo in the middle. So a Legacy Space Marine, which he technically is. He's, yeah, a fair bit bigger. Height wise, he's quite well proportioned, but obviously not sort of shoulder wise. And then uh, compared to the Primaris, Primaris is, yeah, a little bit taller. And a Slime Marbo is just uh, obviously very small, barely up to the chest plate of the Terminator Librarian. So I hope all those size comparisons have helped. This is my part of the review where I will go through all of his rules. You'll find his rules either in the Space Marine Codex uh, that came out in September. No doubt he's going to get more rules updates in the new Space Marine Codex which will which is due to come out in October. But for now let's just focus on his uh, rules as they are in the Codex from last year. So he's an HQ choice, he's a power points cost of a 6, although the little booklet doesn't include his uh, actual match play points cost. In the codex his points cost is bang on 100 points. You will have to pay for his force stave which is another 8 points and his storm bolter which is another 2. So you're looking at 110 points uh, on the nose. So his stat line reads, his movement is 5 inches, weapon skill 3+, plus, ballistic skill 3+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 5 wounds, 3 attacks, leadership 9, and a save of 2+. Plus. A librarian in Terminator armor is a single model equipped with a force stave. This model can additionally be equipped with one weapon from the Terminator combi weapons list. This model can be equipped with one of the following instead of one force stave. One force axe or one force sword. So the force stave, we'll go through that profile first. So strength of the user plus two, so that's strength six. Its AP is only minus one and a damage of D3. That's all right. The force stave is the strength of the user, which would be four. AP is minus three though, and damage of D3. Whereas a force axe is a strength of the user plus one, so that's strength five, AP minus two, and a damage of D3. So the force axe is um, in between both of them. The force stave uh, has the best strength, 
but the force sword has the best armor penetration. So it really depends on who you're up against, whether you're against uh, high toughness enemies and you want that uh, better strength, or whether you're just against uh, enemies that have a um, really decent armor save. Abilities, Angels of Death, Crux Terminatus, so this model has a 5 plus and vulnerable save, so 2 plus normal, 5 plus and vulnerable. Psychic Hood, when a Deny the Witch test is taken for this model to resist a psychic power manifested by an enemy model within 12 inches, add 1 to the total. Teleport Strike, during deployment you can set up this model in a teleportarium chamber instead of setting it up on the battlefield. If you do, at the end of one of your movement phases you can set up this model anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from any enemy models. Psyker, this model can attempt to manifest two psychic powers in your psychic phase and attempt to deny one psychic power in your opponent's psychic phase. It knows smite and two psychic powers from the librarius discipline. Keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, Character, Infantry, Terminator, Psyker and Librarian. So there you go, that's just the standard kind of rules for uh, a Librarian in Terminator armor. If we're going to compare the Librarian in Terminator armor to just a normal Primaris uh, Librarian, because uh, it's got the same stat line as a Librarian in Phobos armor, for that matter, uh, but if we're going to compare him, then this Librarian in Terminator armor is a little bit slower at movement 5 inches, but he does have the same number of wounds. He has one less attack, he only has three attacks instead of four, but he does have the better save that uh, Terminator armor affords. An interesting note is that both the Primaris Librarian and the one in Phobos armor can only take a force sword. They can't take a force stave or a force axe, which is very interesting. They also don't have access to the heavy bolt pistols. If you want a Primaris Librarian, uh, I would pick the one in Phobos armor, mainly because uh, he still has a psychic hood, but he also has concealed position and camo cloak. And he's got access to a new discipline, which is the Obscuration Discipline. Uh, and he comes in at the same points cost too. So there you go, that's the Librarian in Terminator armor and his comparison to the uh, newer Primaris uh, Librarians. What do you guys think of this Terminator Librarian? Which is your favorite Librarian? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.